You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Dean Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Nashville After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Nashville After Show. <laughs> <laughs> we could totally be the new trio on the yeah, show. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's sing. No. Right? <laughs> hey guys, Why? welcome to the After Buzz TV after show for Nashville, season two, episode 16, called Guilty Street. What a fun little episode this was Lots tonight. Lots of scandal yeah. in this Lots episode. Of, Ooh. It, it was. Lots of storylines we haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Nice to get back to it. I'm your host tonight, JJ Jurgens, and I'm joined by... Hi, y'all. Whitney Lane. And I'm Keaton Markey. And engineer, we have... Mr. Phillip. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hello. He's Phil. getting country up in here tonight, you guys. <laughs> Get excited. Joining us for ladies night. I know. <laughs> hey, I came in at a good moment during the show. I was like, you, ooh. And obviously, I have no idea what... I'm talking about because I've never seen the show, but I, I know you guys are talking about steamy. it. Just getting steamy. You got a little ske skin, steamy. right? Ooh, yeah. Skin yeah. A lot of skin. <laughs> right. Well, before we dive deeper, guys, um, I Pun just want unintended. <laughs> 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 Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to tell you guys about a great TV show, which I think you will like. Obviously, you heard Maria mention it at the top of the show, um, so we just want to give you a little more info. Um, I mean, if you could only imagine if you knew somebody who had died, like a grandmother, a father, a mother, whoever, and they suddenly returned. That would be mm -hmm. weird, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Well, that's exactly what's happening in a small town called Arcadia, Missouri, on ABC's new drama, Resurrection. Um, it stars, uh, it's in the res, bleh, sorry, uh, residents of a town who have passed away are starting to come back. Uh, it all starts with eight-year-old Jacob. Uh, he reunites with his parents, and they're totally confused because Jacob actually died 32 years ago. And, so, again, it gets, uh, I've actually um, seen so many of, these previews for it um, mm -hmm. and from there it just picks up more and more people start returning and things like that and I know uh, you're, stu you're stumbling over because you're so excited it's only a few <laughs> days away by the way it is uh, before it's season series premiere yeah um, so and, and what's great about it is you know uh, again having seen the previews it's not like any zombie movie mm -hmm. or aliens and things like that it's a whole new premise and even from the people that I've been talking to about it that are an anticipating it um, there's already so many theories, and so it's going to be one of those water cooler uh, shows, and uh, obviously mm -hmm. that's what After Buzz TV is all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, just make sure you can catch it Sunday, March 9th on ABC at 9, 8 Central. And again, ABC's Resurrection will be premiering Sunday, March 9th at 9, 8 Central. Check it out. It's going to be kind of the new, I feel like, hit show that everybody's going to be talking about. So it's We intriguing. certainly will. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. we After, will. After Buzz is covering it. Yeah. I don't even know what to think. <laughs> like, what if that happens? So, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. definitely going to check it out. And That's if you think Nashville is dramatic, just uh, no, I can only imagine. Which, again, you know, so uh, Resurrection is an ABC show. You know, so many good ABC shows mm -hmm. out there. You know, so definitely worth it. Worth uh, tune in. Making those yeah. moves, ABC. Can't wait for a new fix after I add mm -hmm. to my Nashville. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of Nashville. <laughs> Let's dive Let's in. Let's do it. Let's start <laughs> with our favorite guy. Let's dive into the Deacon love triangle. What do you guys uh -huh. think about this tonight? Okay. First, I just have to comment on him in AA because I was just like, of all the people, like the camera pans, I'm just like, how can you not stare at that man? Yeah. He's beautiful. Like, he's beautiful, and he's sitting there talking about being sober, and it's like, ah, oh, you gorgeous soul. He's great. I loved I loved the scenes when he was talking about um, his daughter, Maddie, mm -hmm. and he didn't, like, go into full details, which I thought was very classy of him, with this woman who obviously knew Raina. Um, and was also an AA, Ruth. Ruth. Mm -hmm. A new character. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Looks like Baby Spice. That's what I thought. We all like her. Yeah. 
I thought she was very cute. I liked, I loved, oh, the lot when uh, they, they were sitting at the, uh, they were sitting <laughs> at the, at the um, restaurant, the bar there, and, uh, you know, they started talking about how she was saying it was her regret, regret that she hasn't had children other than, you know, and also her uh, mm -hmm. music career. But we all said, yeah, you, you want to go, like, make yeah. it. And she said it. We're like, oh, yes. When she said it, what a try. Me. We're like, yeah, we love her she already. She was certainly forward, and yeah. she knows what she wants. So she's wanted Deacon Claiborne for quite some time. I feel you know, like they, I feel like they've away. done it though. Mm -mm. I, feel, I feel I don't. I don't think they've done it, but I feel like they've always had this chemistry that they never acted on, like or just this like connection. I don't know that he ever felt like he could. I mean, he was all. It was always Raina. Yeah, it was the, they were all together, and obviously Raina and her must have been good friends if they mm -hmm. sang a duet together mm -hmm. at one point. I'm sure she wasn't going to step on that when it's Raina's tour. And Raina yeah. was a star, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that they were just very friendly. Like I don't think that he even had like feelings for her, but it was just they've always gotten along as like great fr mm -hmm. friends. And I mean, the way he gave her such a hug when they like, first saw each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. It's, yeah. And th I like her, but I, I mean, obviously, I still don't want them to end of up course. together. Let's be honest here. But what is happening, but, we yes. have wanted for a while. Yes. Megan. 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 Megan that, and you called her a dirty little tramp Slur. slut whore Slur. tonight. <laughs> <Slur>. <laughs> whore. So many dirty words. I'm, I'm sorry, but like, really, really? No, she really? is like addicted to guys who have a problem, and she, she wants, wants to, to be the one them. that saves them. Yeah. The only thing I give her credit for is that I would have never thought her little kind of, not stuck up, but no fun little, you know, person would have yeah. ever gotten busy in the back of a car. Like, I would well, not, I not have liked it. Yeah. that. It's just like they're perfect. Teddy and they're, they're perfect. I can't complain about that. Because yeah. in the end, yeah, Deacon, you're going to be her, but he's going to run right back to Raina James. Thank yeah. God. Because yeah. Luke is getting annoying. That's what I was about yes. to say. Yes. Yeah. They're Real all moving annoying. around. The relationships are changing. Getting back to that equilibrium that we all Thank want. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I just had a, a train of thought when we were talking. Oh, oh, it'll hit me in a little bit. Yeah. About Teddy? It was, it, um, yeah, it was Teddy and Megan. Well, I mean, he mm. calls her and tells her some serious news that we've been waiting for yeah. a long time for oh. him to figure out. Finally. All the finally, dirt from finally. Peggy. Yes. The lies. And we wondered if you ever was going to find out that the baby, that she had a miscarriage way before they were married. And, you know, like we said tonight when we were watching, though, when he was saying, oh, I still would have married her. We're, we're like, no. no. I was like, no, he wouldn't have. He, yeah. He doesn't remember what he felt like in that time. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, she's just something to keep my mind busy and other things busy. Yeah. But at that time, I mean, she was just clingy and weird. And then so she fakes this merit or this pregnancy. Turns out to be fake, of course. But, like, I don't know. And what a bad thing to leave Teddy with, because now, like he said, he has to contemplate all this stuff that he did he be, wouldn't because, have done. yeah, yeah, that he wouldn't have done. But how his life has ended up because he did end up marrying her, and now what well, he did to Lamar, Lamar he let him die because yeah. he thought he had someone come and try to shoot her mm -hmm. or shoot him and ended up killing his yeah. beloved wife. Yeah. And then you let him die in front of you. Yeah, I felt sorry for Teddy on this God. one. Can I, I, feel make, like that's can I make a, lot. a prediction? I just, I just thought of sure. one. And I know this is early in the game, but I don't want to forget. But it looked like, you know, Teddy was turned into the drink, turned into the whiskey. And I feel like he might get, because I think Megan is going to break his heart as well, because she's, and then she's just going to hopefully Deacon dump, drops her to the curb because she's a slore. Um, <sighs> but I think he is going to become somewhat of an alcoholic dealing with all of this stuff. And he has nobody to kind of lean on. And I think, I think te he might reach out to Deacon at some point. Or th huh. This will be next hmm. season. Next season. But I'm predicting it now that that will a bring. A little bromance? I don't know if it's Never. a bromance. <laughs> I just think it's going to be an understanding and a respect um, that's going to come from, okay, I understand what alcoholism is. I have a problem mm -hmm. now, and I can look to you as somebody who's been able to get their shit together and you know, for your kids. And Let's I think hope that's, not, though. I think that'll bring it's it back around. has been through so much already. We don't need that. I think, here, this is interesting, though, because Megan, she sure was not going to tell Deacon what no. happened. No. Which is even yeah. worse. It's like he comes home, he didn't get with Ruth, who's so mm -hmm. much cooler than you, Megan. And Ruth was oh, basically, like, like, left it all and on the table. Yeah, yeah, but it's just like, ugh. 
Why? What do you think? You're just going to ignore that that ever happened? I mean, I guess they were. You saw him pull up in the car. At the end, they weren't just, speaking. Yeah. He just gets out. Teddy just gets out of the car. But I don't know. What that, are you going to tell him? That's the comment I was going to make before about this time I was glad to see that Deacon actually makes the right decision. I, I wanted mm -hmm. it to be her as being the one that messes it up, you know. that, that She's the worst. Yeah. What, is that going to cause him to go drink again? No. no. Better cause him to confide yeah. in Raina James. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, I, I mean, I know he just told her he loved her tonight over the phone and stuff, but I just don't think that, I just don't feel like he added as much to, to have this one really affect, drive him back to the bottle. I still, yeah. I still just don't believe this relationship. Like, I don't know if it's the writing yeah. it's the, or it's the way their storyline, what we've seen of their storyline, but it's still so hard for me to believe this attraction between them. There's just nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing. No, no chemistry in the way. room. Yeah. I do. I think it's meant to be that way because in the end, we want her to go away from him and get with Teddy. Yeah. But we basically just don't want her to be with him. And by their chemistry on camera or whatever, like, it helps us yeah. not like her and want him to be with Raina again. They've got a plan. Yeah. Those writers. I hope. I hope. I hope. Well, speaking of those writers, uh, I know this is kind of a sidebar, but let's throw out our favorite line of the <laughs> evening tonight. God, leaks, Scarlett. <laughs> what was that? So, I hope that was <laughs> fake. I hope that wasn't real, but we played it twice, people. Yeah, I don't know if you guys caught the same thing out there, but we had little <laughs> subtitles on, and as Scarlett was singing her song with, with Liam, Liam all yeah, cozy. all cozy romantic, oh, no, and one of the lyrics was, Ollie Ollie oxen free. <laughs> oh my God. What? Yeah. What? That it was, is, no. It, it, was it just so didn't weird. quite roll off the tongue in a nice, like, romantic song to all of a sudden. Please have tell Ollie us if we heard that wrong. Ollie We're hoping yeah. and praying we heard that wrong, yeah. you guys. Or that our subtitles were off. Right. It was That's way what I, let's hope because, I mean, it was that awkward. was weird. But that, that was, and then we had a, we had a, tight runner-up with we also huh. tell us what you think about uh luke's first scene with reyna in the kitchen when they're talking about <laughs> dad his dying. dad dying and being dead and it was just like they were asking say? like he how's the weather but it was like the He's most like, how are you with your dad dying yeah well <laughs> oh, that's how you're gonna ask the question. How are I don't you understand. doing with your dad dying? Eat, a, exactly. eat a pancake. Yes. I just Want had milk and vinegar. <laughs> oh, weird things, you guys. <laughs> Who I'm... makes pancakes, with milk and vinegar? You guys tell us that recipe because I've never heard of it before. I still don't trust Luke. I don't like him. <laughs> Not I now. think he's still working for Ed yeah. Chill, trying to get like some inside information on Raina and six in he's Highway getting 65. It. But um. Who, do you know who I want to talk about really though? Who? Is um, the band, this new band. Because as much as Scarlet's song kind of sucked, I loved the song yes. that the band. Do they have a name yet? Have, have we? Mm -mm. Have they said a so. name? I don't think so. There's so much, you know, animosity. They like between. Lady Annabellum. That's what you. They, yeah, that's and what that's I what said. they sound like. And they were so great. So great. Totally agree. I like agree. them together, but mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen there. Maybe it'll be the new thing. But Scarlett sure is going to feel left out of that. I mean, oh, Liam's God. left her. Yeah. She has such FOMO. He got fired. He got it, the boot from Raina. Thank God. See on down the road. And he said the He's same lying. thing Scarlett and broke her heart. She thought yeah. it was an adult relationship. And look what happened. But really, like, were we really going to let this go on for a long yeah. time? Well, She's got to deal with this whole, like, being left out of all of her friends, ex-boyfriends, uncle situation at some point. I think she, I want, I still, we still really have not gotten Scarlett's backstory. Mm -hmm. And I really want it. I want to know what, her daddy issues. I want to know her mom issues because her mom is Deacon's sister, mm -hmm. correct? That's, and that's why he's Uncle Deacon. I, I just want to know. Yeah. And I, I thought this season we were going to get a little deeper. And we got a little hint when she mm -hmm. was writing the songs. But other than that, we've gotten nothing. And I really, 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 please, please. I'll tell you what it is. Yes. Please tell me. It's all y'all the oxen oh, <laughs> <laughs> You guys, she's, she's saying it. all of it. That's all she's got. That is, that's part of it. Well, and again, <laughs> we didn't see any more of the pills. So they started this whole pill storyline, oh, yeah. and now we haven't seen it for two episodes. Well, we, she may get back on that so now that her love of her week, love of the week, yeah. has left. And we haven't seen her or Zoe interact at all. No. And that's why I'm saying she's got to deal with that. Because yeah, remember past... her last week's at the Bluebird, Bluebird looking in and being like, oh, my uncle is like yeah. rooting for them, the most talented few people. She's got to deal with that I somehow. think you probably have a good call with it. It's probably building up towards the end of the season mm -hmm. here where she's finally going to lose it once they've had all the success and she's dealing with Liam now. Yeah. Do you think that'll be our cliffhanger? Do you think Do you think we're going to get a, a drug overdose? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't see it being that drastic. 
I really I don't. hope not because we already had that with um, you know Juliet's mom and the mm-hmm. overdose and I, I just don't do another one but <laughs> let's move past <laughs> the drug overdoses please <laughs> Let's oh. go back to the murder and the babies. Golly. And- <laughs> oh, God. That's true. If you really think about all of that, <laughs> ooh, you would not want that life. No. You would not. No. <laughs> Good drama times. of Nashville. Good times. Drama, drama. Speaking of the drama, Will and Layla's yes. real interesting. I mean, Layla's just shut out. She's done. Thank God. Jeff- she annoys me. Well, we all agree <laughs> with that one, but it's kind of sad. Yeah, and we had some little comic relief with them trying th- multiple sex Sex scenes, scenes and said. not we going really quick. Skin. Yeah, but gosh, I lots mean, pillow talk. She was gonna wait till marriage, and then it's just moving so quickly, like it's over so fast. She I thinks love, she's doing I something love wrong. Will's comment yeah. of, well, you should have maybe talked to me about that before. <laughs> that was <laughs> you a good just one. threw yourself at me. <laughs> oh, it's which, just sad. Which makes me think Will is a good guy. I think he yeah. he has a lot of struggles, but I think deep down he's a good guy. He has a good heart, and you know he's. He and he doesn't want to hurt Layla anymore. He doesn't, and I think, and I think, I know you guys disagree with me. I do think he truly cares about her, as not a in a romantic yeah. way, but as a friend oh, and definitely. as like for wanting her career to, to blossom and stuff. I think he truly does care about her, and I think he's going to struggle with that kind of, you know, continuing with his career, but kind of breaking up with her. I think he's going to like miss having that confidant. Yeah. Even though he's not truly honest with her. No, I definitely agree with you on that one. I mean, otherwise, look, he did a really bold thing when he had his interview and he, you know, put a plug out for her. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I think I think he has a good heart. And once I just well, think they got together because of this label. He doesn't want to be with her in that sense. So, like, when's this all gonna explode? That could be the cliffhanger. Or when are they gonna bring another person it, uh, into the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. I don't She's know. She she offered it. Layla offered it, and Layla's desperate right now, so she might be like, "Well, what can we do to make her confidence up?" That's just gonna. I think. Mm. I think you see him too, kind of contemplating. Man, like, I was this girl's first. Her career's yeah. going down the drain, and I'm gay. So when she finds that out, is her life going to go even more down? Da- you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how I took it. so much more insecure. That's how I took it as, too. Like, he didn't want to be to take away somebody's virginity and then have them then be, find out that you're gay. Like, yeah, then that, I think, would be crushing for that, for her. Everything you know, just for, kind of, yeah, she's hitting rock bottom, people. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe she'll be killed off by the end of the season. I don't know. Nobody's I, that invested in yeah. her. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not either. Not. She it, even even when she was like her and Juliet were button heads. Eh, I just could care. I was like, please stop. <laughs> Get her out. Speaking of Juliet, let's yeah. talk about her a little bit. She had a lot of offers today How from different labels. How did this happen so quickly? Was it just because she went to L.A. and kind of recorded that new song? So. I don't know. I mean, she's getting everybody. She's getting the big ones. They mm-hmm. all name drop them. Big Machine, all of them. They're coming out. I love it. It's kind of fun. And it, but it's weird to me that like. I guess I get, like, I, I don't know the music industry well enough to, like, be like, why would you not sign with some of these huge, huge labels? But, like, you know, you, you do an album, a couple albums, like, by playing by their rules, you kind of get back on the charts, you get back into it, and then you, you get trusted to kind of play by your rules again. You know, sacrifice to get what you want. And... But I feel like she's done that so yeah, much, is her thing. Too. It's mm-hmm. like, I'm ready to do my own thing, I'm ready to be able to create what I want to create. And she's still got a following, even though they're focusing on all the, like, negativity. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's sure she's been that huge. She's still going to have those loyal fans where she could branch off and be more of an indie label or something if she wanted to. And wonder how often it happens where someone gets dropped by a label, everyone in Nashville hates this girl and talks trash about her, and then they're like, oh, now we all love you so much. That cannot really happen to many people. Where you're, like, basically exiled, and then everyone's, like, bowing down and sending you gifts. That's pretty much, that's pretty powerful there, Juliet. Use that to your mm-hmm. advantage, and thank goodness she did not sign with Ed Chill. I like having mm-hmm. bitchy Juliet back. Yeah. I loved when she walked up with that with that champagne bottle and just boom, and just walked away like, yeah. And mm-hmm. then 
And then when she sat down in that chair in that meeting with Jeff, she still, she controlled it all, even though he started pulling out her heart. He's the yeah. worst. Yeah. He is the worst. He, he <laughs> is. I loved it, too. I love that side of her. And I also loved, we loved the, her interactions with Avery and their, um, so you know, yeah. she respects what he that. says, yeah. too, because they go to dinner, and it's like she's ordering crab legs and wine lists and all of that, and he's like, I can't afford this. I'm yeah. bringing you out to dinner. But she respected that and went back towards him, back to him at the end and was like, I'm asking you to take me to dinner. So that's good. Mm -hmm. She really does mm -hmm. care about him. I like that yeah. a lot. I do think Avery needs to swallow his pride a little bit, though. You have to understand who you're dating. Like, come on. What do you mean, swallow like, his pride? Because, like, he, he's just so against, like, I understand, like, you know, you, you want to be able to take care of Juliet a little bit. You want to be able to take her out. You want to be able to kind of do your own music thing. Well, you want to like, be a man? He wants to be a you man. Wanna, yeah, I, I get that. Normal. But, like, seriously, if she's just trying to help, but she, he immediately got angry when she was like, oh, my God, I might stand with Edgehill because I want to help you. And he just flipped on her so quickly. And it's like, dude, she's just trying to help. Like, she's just trying to do what she can, what she knows she can offer. You. No, it came from a but, good place, but in mm -hmm. the end, it's somewhat to many people would be insulting of like, oh, I'm only getting here because of you. He wants to earn that in his own right. But he did. I mean, he did earn it because the only reason they were going to sign him is because of the the song that he produced before her. I but don't I, know. Yeah, but I, I think yeah, like you, he wants to know that he made it on his own, not because he doesn't want people like Gunner saying comments like, "Oh, you have a rich girlfriend, yeah. you get," you know. And he's, I think, he's afraid that if he signs with her of that deal, then that's what everybody's going to say is, "Oh, he got it from and riding it is. on her." So it is yeah. what people would say. So I think he would rather and and. I think he'd also want to have done it too. Yeah. He's it's also a thing too. I'm sure he wants to bring something to the table with Julia and not f so that she still like finds him attractive and you know you don't want a mooch yeah. like someone who just takes whatever you handle yes. and doesn't step up. But he but he is like he does give her so much. Like like he's the first yeah. guy to respect her, to truly, truly respect her. And I think that's why Juliet all the only thing she knows how to like the only way she knows how to show love is by, you know, buying people things or giving people mm -hmm. things or using her star power for things and she lost that. She was so down and Avery was the only one giving her things and giving her support and now she's getting that back. So she's just trying to show him the love yeah. that she, that she just was receiving from him. And so I don't know. I just I I just Avery made me a little mad that he got so pissy with her. But I think he's also showing her a different way to love. Though instead of just paying for yeah, things and yeah, giving yeah. it, showing you you don't have to give me these things for me to love you. Like let me earn it. Let me do my career. Mm -hmm. You have yours, but we're here in it together. You but know? I, I do agree with you that Avery is a little moody biatch sometimes. He's he even has like been. he's complaining he's about on his man period. Yeah. I can't even tell you. I mean, he's even now they have this great gig and he's complaining because Gunner didn't come to him before Gunner's and annoying, clear the day. Though. And then, yeah, I know. it's too, too much. Like, then, don't. They're both kind of being little sissy girls, yeah. like little like whiners, you know. And then at this Zoe, time. and then she gets he shoots her down so many times. <laughs> like, oh, do you actually know the the vocals? Do you actually know? It's like he's annoying. <laughs> Gunner Sometimes is being too much. super annoying. Yeah. Him and Scarlett need to get back together so they can, like, <laughs> balance each other out. Goodness. Gosh. Lord Well, almighty. in the end, yes. it all works out. I you called your this prediction. Months ago, people. I'm so proud. Yay. This might be the first ever prediction that's actually come true. But Juliet signed with Raina's label. Woo! Yeah. Well, well, uh, why though? Why did they have to show us that preview for next oh week? Because gosh, yeah. I like bitchy Juliet, but I don't like it when it's gonna affect her and Raina. No, and they didn't even give us literally a minute I to know. enjoy our happiness of your prediction coming uh, true, and then we go to the preview. Shot down. Uh, <laughs> like, uh. well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe it has nothing to do with Raina yeah, and Juliet, and they're just tricking us. Let's Maybe, hope. Let's hope. Who just? What if she's talking about like Scarlett? Who knows? I don't know. But. It didn't Raina seem needs like to that. be careful. This is a smart move for her because Juliet will bring in a lot of people. But Luke, she's got to be careful. Yeah. That's got to end, he's, I think. I don't like him. I don't do want him out. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? And he's looking at the kids' pictures. Yeah. like Kind of <laughs> like, do I want these kids in my life? That's yeah. how I took it. And he's like, do you trust me? So tell me what's really happening with your label. Yeah. Don't tell him anything. No. Yeah. Don't. I don't trust him either. Those pictures were creepy, but they, still. Yeah. <laughs> They've always been there. Credit to yeah. Luke. The pictures have freaked me out since the first episode yeah. when we saw them, when Teddy lived in there. That yeah. Room. So I there's mean, lots of up, ups and downs with Raina's label right now. Tandy dropping the ball, not sending out checks. But hopefully this Juliet thing will maybe turn it around a bit, at least money-wise. Well, and Raina really just cutting people right and left out of her life, too, after all this. Like Tandy, you know, firing her, yeah. getting rid of... She yeah. got her back, though. Yeah. Family.
Yeah. Runs deep. And we love Tandy here. <laughs> we do. We love Tandy. We, we want to see her real. Her we do. Real, yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out our interview um, with Miss Judith Hogue, you guys should check it out. Uh, you can check it out on Acrobuzz TV or on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun. She, she was, was so great. nice. She was so great. And... Um, yeah, I, I, she said she'd come back and kind of dissect an episode with us mm -hmm. in the future, so keep checking back for that, you guys. Mm -hmm. Made us definitely all Team Tandy. Mm -hmm. We are Team Tandy. <laughs> she was so much fun. All right, well, should we go ahead and dive on into some news and gossip? Sure. Yes. After Buzz TV News. Literally all my news and gossip today is about Hayden Panettiere. First she was of busy. All, yeah, she's a busy woman covering two magazines, okay? Whoa. First one, we'll get to the, the best. We'll say the best for a second. But the first <laughs> one, she's covering April's um, issue of British Cosmo, Ooh. where she chats about taking a year off from acting after Heroes and also on choosing intellect over looks when it comes to guys. Hmm. She wants wait, substance. Wait, wait. So you're telling me that she's dating a boxer who gets hit in the head for a living and she's and she's saying that she chooses in Hey, he's got something yeah. behind that. He's got I know he, he's, he's really into politics yeah. and like, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Substance. So, okay. That's good. I like I it. You. Then she also graces the cover of Brides Magazine. Looking uh -huh. so pretty in a wedding gown. That'll be the April-May issue. She got to wear a lot of different gowns. Oscar de la Renta, Marquesa. So she is, you know, dream. enjoying that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure kind of getting ideas for the big day. I think I, I, I don't, don't quote me, but I saw a snippet of an interview and I tried to turn it, but she, I think she said she already had hers picked out. She wasn't uh, revealing, but I think she already, yeah, they don't have a date yet, hers. but she must be getting it all together. She did say, talked a little bit about the proposal and she said it was very simple and sweet. She's like, I like when people, you know, she's like, a lot of people go overboard and they do all these really big things. She's like, but I really liked it. Simple and sweet. Mm. So interesting. She's got an intellectual guy who just knows her. Simple and yeah. sweet and proposal. Can, uh, punch somebody out. And one more. Yeah. She <laughs> chatted with E about her, about all kinds of different things, really. Her favorite TV show. Any guesses what it would be besides Nashville? It's interesting. Um, can you give us a hint? True Detective. Oh. Really? Matthew McConaughey. Good show. Oh. So she yeah, likes that. She talked about her favorite designers and beauty products. And she even talked about how she stays fit in Nashville. She actually goes to the local YMCA's. Hmm. Who would have thought? So, well, interesting yeah. stuff. So when you go to Nashville, if you want to run Yoga and Pilates at the YMCA's. Get it, girl. So Get check her. the rest of that interview out on E! Online. But that's all I've got for you. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank all you. All right. Time for Prediction. Predictions. And now... Your After Buzz TV predictions. Anything? Mm. I, had a I have on a this good one. one. You go. Okay. <laughs> I got so good. now that Scarlett does not have a producer anymore, I can see Avery stepping up yep. into that Ooh. role. And that can also I mean they've been through a lot together. Help her kind of unfold everything from her past, get it out. He's a good producer. We've seen it. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I, I mean, think, but that could be fun. I run. think that's, per be, I yeah. think, and I, Juliet will bring him in. And that, yeah. I think it, be, it could be good. I like that one. And then Juliet's going to get jealous, and then she's going to try to screw over Scarlett's career, and that's what's going to get Raina pissed off. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. That's a lot to happen. I want them to all, all get along. I, I know. <laughs> we just want it to be all happy in Nashville. <laughs> it's not. Then we'd complain. No. It's boring. Yeah. Come on. We obviously, I mean, go on. Do y'all have other ones? Mm. I mean, something's got to happen with Megan and Deacon. That's going to yeah, unfold and yeah. come out somehow. Teddy <sighs> calling her, wanting to talk to her. Do you her. know who I think yeah, is going to discover that? I think uh, Maddie. Really? I think Maddie's going to gonna either see him or catch, because she's the she, dad on the, the phone. The dad, or she'll be hanging out at Deacon's, waiting for him to get there, and Megan will be there. I think Maddie's going to be the one who figures it out, and hmm. she's going to make sure her dad is not Teddy, but Deacon is going to not get hurt. I really hope... Deacon does not get mad and go and punch Teddy because I don't want With his hand, hand to be hurt again. <laughs> now that he's Deacon back playing be music. Smart. So Teddy yes, is please. not worth it. No, and she's we not either. Let we, him have yeah. her. For real. Yeah. It's time for Raina and Deacon because Luke is going to screw her over somehow because she's telling him and everything. You even see it in the, the teaser for next week. Something like she's ruining it, this narcissistic blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Like She tells him these things. What's he going to go out? I swear he's going to put it and give it to the press. Something's going down. I still think there's something w with him and Jeff together. I just I get a weird vibe when mm -hmm. those two are in the same Ugh. room. You yeah. know, th this is another, like, far away prediction. But I, I think it's weird that they had um, Ruth come in and they actually talked about a child together. So 
I think that she might get pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think, don't let I Megan think... be pregnant. That's why she's not telling. <gasps> she's going to get pregnant with Teddy's child. Deacon's going to think it's his. And it's all going to no. switch. <laughs> it's all going to switch. No, but I, I, think Ruth, I, think she... I think Ruth will get pregnant next season. And I think that's... I with Deacon's gonna, child? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's think, a good one because I, th I started thinking when they're in the car too. I thought no if they had sex on, no, don't have her get pregnant on a, the first night. But no, yeah, they, they dropped those seeds a little. They can't do that. Literally, they, they planted the seeds. <laughs> yeah. Guys, All right. So well, thank you guys. That was another great episode. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. So, where can they find you guys at? Y'all can. I just y'all get it, girl. I was, at, I was looking at Winnie and I was like, y'all can find me. I love it. Uh, on Twitter and Instagram at KeatonM33. I'm on Twitter at Whitney Lane Fern. My website, Whitney-Lane.com. And I'm at JJ Jurgens on all of the above. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.